G'day and welcome to this VATSYS tutorial on how to connect an ATIS in VATSYS. Today you join me on Perth Tower. First thing you want to do is click on Windows, ATIS, and then Editor. Next you're going to want to verify four different components within the ATIS editor. Number one, that the ICAO code matches what you want in the ATIS editor for the airport that you're providing. Next you're going to want to make sure that the ICAO code and the frequency match the AIP for the airport that you're putting the ATIS up at. Next you're going to want to choose your voice. Do you want to use the Microsoft desktop bot or do you want to make a manual recording? Next you're going to want to choose which rate of speak you want the ATIS to speak at. And you can choose between the five different modes there. We recommend, however, keeping this at medium. If all this information is correct, click Create. The next thing what you want to do is choose your ATIS letter. You can choose from Alpha right through to Yankee. Today we're going to be using information Alpha. Next you're going to want to outline what approach type you're doing in the ATIS. Today, in this particular scenario, I'm going to be nominating instrument approaches for runway 03. Let's put that information in. FATSYS does support all of the abbreviations for all of the words that you might need to use within your ATIS editor. Therefore, as seen here, I put expect instrument approach in shortened form. Next you're going to want to put in the surface conditions. At the moment, the surface conditions are dry, so we don't need to put anything in here. However, if it was raining, you can put damp, wet, patches of water, etc. Next you're going to want to put in any operational info that might be the case. The wind, the visibility, the cloud, the temperature, the Q&H are all dragged from the VATSIM meta that has been dragged from the VATSIM database. So therefore there is no need to touch this at all. Next you're going to want to put in who you want them to notify. If you're on an aerodrome position, such as tower, we recommend that you just keep this with ground or approach to maximise realism. Once you are satisfied that you have an ATIS set up correctly, you click Save. Perth Terminal Information Alpha. Expect instrument approach. Runway 03. Wind, 360 degrees, minimum 17 knots. Maximum 27 knots. Visibility greater than 10 kilometers. Cloud few 4,500 feet. Temperature 2 tree. QNH 1007. On first contact with Perth ground or approach, notify receipt of information alpha. As you just heard, once clicking save on VATSYS, VATSYS will click listen so that you can review and listen to your ATIS before broadcasting it. Once you are satisfied, click Broadcast. Congratulations! Your ATIS is now broadcasting over the VATSIM network. You can close this ATIS editor box now. To review your ATIS, you can go back to ATIS, Editor, you can Request, or you can click on your ATIS right here. This will bring up the small box where you can review your ATIS for any glances that you may need to do. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to connect an ATIS using VATSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to get in contact.